And I want to bring in now Kenny Shu, president of Color Us United, a group that advocates against affirmative action. He's also a member of the board for Students for Fair Admissions. That's the group that brought this case against Harvard and the University of North Carolina. Kenny, thank you for joining us. So today's ruling obviously is one that you mm -hmm. were hoping for, arguing that the rules uh, in place that support affirmative action were unfair to Asian Americans. So from a practical perspective, how does today's decision help Asian American students looking to get into elite colleges? I just want to say I'm ecstatic about this decision. It means that Asian Americans can finally get treated on their merits. Guys, we know why Asian Americans are should get into Harvard at disproportionate rates. It's because they study twice as many hours as the average American. It's not because of their race. It's because of their culture. It's because of their family values. Academic excellence, that should be prioritized. Those should be the values that schools like Harvard and Chapel Hill, supposedly elite schools and academic programs, should be valuing in an applicant, not race. So you've argued also that Harvard and other colleges should get rid of their legacy admissions, which also gives people points for having a parent that went to that school. Uh, that's not happening here. I, I wonder why not challenge that, which is also presumptively an obstacle for Asian Americans being treated fairly in the admissions process. Well, I hope you followed the case, but Students for Fair Admissions has challenged legacy admissions repeatedly over and over again. In fact, we argued that the way that Harvard could implement some of their diversity policies without discriminating against Asian Americans is to get rid of legacy admissions, which, as you know, disproportionately privilege white applicants. In fact, 33% of Harvard students who are white are legacy, and they have a five times more likely chance of getting in if you are legacy. So you really want to ensure diversity in admissions? Get rid of legacy admissions. You heard today President Biden expressing some concerns over uh, so socioeconomic factors and inequality being made worse given this decision. Uh, he also uh, presented uh, what he called another, oh, basically a way forward. I wonder if you take race out of the picture and you do what the president is suggesting, taking socioeconomic status into consideration, do you think that that would be fair to Asian American students as well? No, I don't. I think that admissions should be only based on merit. And the reason why is because you can't, why are we asking a university to calculate somebody's level of adversity? I think that that's a very, that sets a very bad precedent for anybody trying to get into college. We should be treated on the basis of our merits. We should be treated on the basis of how hard we work, our study, our SAT scores, our grades. Uh, a name-blind, race-blind process is what I would advocate and for as president of college. Can, Kenny, can I ask you, though? I, I mean, colleges, yeah. obviously, they care about grades and SAT scores, but they also are filling universities of people, human beings, who have other factors that they bring to the table. Why is it not okay for them to consider those things? I'm saying if you're going to consider those things, you should consider them without respect to race. Sure. So but, as you but, know, a lot it, of Asian so Americans... I, right. I think that that's exactly should, right, but, should, but socioeconomic status doesn't... If, if you take race out of it, let's, let's call it socioeconomic status, where uh, whether or not they uh, were, grew up wealthy or poor, is that, how, is that not something that colleges might have an interest in considering? The reason why you shouldn't consider that is because you should consider the success of an applicant. Because of affirmative action, black Americans graduate from law school at the bottom 25% of their classes, largely speaking. And we, we don't want that. We want black students to succeed. We want every student to su succeed, low-income students to succeed. But you have to put them in scenarios in places where they're likely to succeed. And lowering your standard to admit somebody of a socioeconomic status or race uh, would not help them do that. In fact, it would harm their graduation rate and excellence. Well, as the uh, case also points out, the standard isn't necessarily lowered because the it, students are all admitted. It's the question is whether race can be an added consideration, a tipping point. No, in the some standard of these is cases. lowered. The standard is lowered. Can the standard is lowered as the student premier admissions data shows an Asian has to score 273 points higher on the SAT to have the same chance of admission as a black person. So Ken the standard is lowered for black Americans. Kenny Shu, mm -hmm. thank you for your perspective. We really appreciate you joining us today.